We're coming up on the end of 2022 here in Chicago. Well, technically everywhere in the world. And the time has come for me to be honest with you guys. It definitely was not my best year. This is a ground line train to the moon. What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and now that I got your attention with that catchy title, let me reassure you that it's not clickbait. Although, yeah, maybe I did exaggerate slightly. But there's no way to sugarcoat it. 2022 was by far my most unhealthy year in a very long time. This isn't something that I've talked about on YouTube nor on social media, but like I told y'all a few months ago, it's time for me to tell my own stories instead of just reciting from a history book. From the outside looking in, this might not be apparent because the lifestyle that I portray on YouTube is pretty dope. I live with my girlfriend and our dog in a beautiful Chicago apartment. We eat incredible foods, travel a lot, and I run my own media company, the main arm being the YouTube channel. But behind the scenes, I've had to deal with some issues. A couple of minor health problems, some injuries in the gym, and failures in my own business. So here's an example of how difficult it can be to film in Chicago sometimes. And that stupid construction thing has been beeping for like 20 minutes. Ridiculous. Every time that something negative happened to me in 2022, I was able to take the hit, bounce back, and keep it moving. For example, when one of these minor health issues prevented me from filming, the channel kept rolling because I always had a few videos ready to go. But about a month ago, I had several nights in a row of barely any sleep, I was eating like garbage and got super stressed out about my business. I ran full speed into a brick wall, metaphorically. But it was at that point that I knew I needed to make some kind of change. First off, my sleeping schedule was all over the place. I'd be going to bed at random times and on Saturdays when I was finishing up a YouTube video, I'd be up till five or six in the morning sometimes. Then the next night I'd try to sleep nine or 10 hours to try to catch up and it was just a complete mess. This made it difficult, if not impossible, to have a set daily routine, which for me should always include some kind of exercise. Now some weeks I'd be in the gym or run in five or six times, then the next week I wouldn't work out at all. My diet was okay, although I was probably eating too much of certain foods and not enough of certain other foods. And at the crib, I just had way too much clutter, making it hard to focus and negatively affecting my mental health. Now, individually, any one of these things aren't really a big deal. It's just when you put them together. Despite all of this though, I was able to put in a solid year of content on the channel, even if I did fall short of my own expectations. Hey, look who I found. Hello. So Norris is taking a little lunch break. We just met up in Old Town and we're gonna grab some food. All right, so the plan was to eat here at Real Good Juice Company in Old Town, but for whatever reason, they're randomly closed in the middle of the day. Two other girls just came up and were just as confused as us. But there's other options in Old Town, so we'll go find something else. Maybe not quite as healthy as the juice spot, but I know we'll find something. So we're at Foxtrot and we got the salmon avocado toast. Try to keep it somewhat healthy to fit on the theme of today. We also got the patented Foxtrot cold brew. It's not working for me. I'm trying to put my jacket on the stool and I'm having trouble. Oh, it's still warm. Cheers. Cheers. Smoked salmon's always good. Throw a little avocado on there on a piece of toast. Not a bad snack. I see some everything bagel seasoning too. Oh yeah. So I wanna be clear. I'm not saying all this to earn sympathy points, nor do I wanna dump all my problems on the channel. I know that we're all dealing with stuff and going through our own issues. 
I just want to be more open and honest with you guys about where I am in my life and more importantly, where we're going as a community. I always like coming to the gorilla house here at the zoo. So the big question is, what am I gonna be doing about all this? Well, for starters, I designed an all new daily routine for me to follow starting now and heading into 2023. I guess it's technically not all new because it's actually based on a routine that I came up with in 2015 when I was trying to make the move from Florida to Chicago. It's a routine that's been proven to help me achieve big goals, which first and foremost starts with a healthy lifestyle. I recently heard Logan Paul say on one of his podcasts that greatness starts with fitness. And I'm not sure if that's his quote or based on somebody else's, but I really liked it and uh, I felt it was really appropriate to hear at this point in my life. Our afternoon date at Lincoln Park continues. I'm taking you to the small primate house. On a blustery day. <laughs> So that was one of the more memorable visits to the small primate house that we've had in a long time. We were lucky enough to meet with a docent that was in there and she was telling us about a couple of the monkeys or sometimes small apes that are here on display. And all of them were out. Every single exhibit, except for the very first one, the animals were out. So that was really cool. They were having so much fun. Yeah. Like just swinging from branch to branch and... Yeah, that was cool. There were some, the white bearded one, the DeBrazos monkeys, they were going crazy, just bouncing off the walls. And I think we got some of that footage, but yeah, that was fun. So I think we have one more stop at, at the zoo. Let's go. Last time we went to the lion house, we couldn't find them. So what do you think? Do you think we'll find them this time? second time's a charm or is this already the third this is like the fifth or sixth oh my gosh well <laughs> paper family whoop, 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 whoop. it's closed all right so the lion house is closed right now but the lions are actually out Shh. we're about to see some lions And because I'm a YouTuber, you guys are gonna be part of this journey as I embark on my new daily routine, which I've actually already started. I'm eating and sleeping better, plus I've been in the gym almost every single day. And in the coming weeks, I'll be incorporating more of my lifestyle into the channel. So I want you guys to let me know what you're working on this coming year so we can all kind of achieve our goals together. Instead of having my career and health compete with each other, now I'm gonna have them working more in sync. So thanks for watching vlog number two of my daily vlog challenge. We'll see you tomorrow. Peace.